So Spurs out, as are AC Milan. Manchester United winning at San Siro by one goal to nil. Paul Pogba coming off the bench uh, and scoring just three minutes into the second half. Uh, Robbo, overall, this was a game that lacked quality, but over the two legs, United deserving to go through? Mm, not on the first half display today because AC Milan were better tactically. They had the better players. And, and I, I wouldn't say there's any AC Milan players that would get in the Manchester United team. That's how well Pioli set up his team and how badly I thought Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did in the first half because Manchester United were all over the place. When they tried to get it into the front players, they were giving the ball away. They were outplayed in midfield at times. And it looked as though they might be threatened on the counter-attack because AC Milan aren't a great side. Let me tell you, I've seen a lot of them over the season. They're a side on the wane. They've got uh, some players playing in behind the main strike that are never going to be good enough to play at the top level, in, top, in my view. So I thought it was a, a, a poor performance by Manchester United and Pogba pulled them out of a bit of trouble with that goal just after half-time. Your anti-Manchester United the ways, Robbo. They're, they've just gone to San Siro and beaten AC Milan to book a place in the quarterfinals <laughs> and you want to start off with yeah. negatives. Yeah, I don't think they played particularly well. I thought it was a poor performance. They had to make the substitution. Uh, Solskjaer had to make the substitution because Rashford wasn't running around, whether he's injured or I think he was injured. And Pogba came on, scored the goal. But overall, I, before the game, I thought Manchester United would catch AC Milan on the counter-attack time and time again. They'd have too much pace for them. They'd have too much ability for them. And that wasn't the case because so, Manchester United didn't play well enough. This is, this is deja vu all over again. How many times have we sat here and said, well, Manchester United are particularly pretty great today, you know. I thought the way they were set up was this and all that, and they didn't do this and that. Guess what? They won. How many times have we done this? So I'm not quite sure what we expect from Manchester United. I think we all, we all think that they're going to all of a sudden take a step forward and be this, this all-out attacking, just fantastic team to watch. Mm. But they're not. They are what they are. And they get the job done. And they got the job done again today. And Paul Pogba, of course, very polarising uh, with opinions of him, Don, but getting it done, coming on and making an impact today. Yeah, he was excellent. He was really good. I thought standout players. I thought Dan James done really well on that right-hand side. I thought Scott McTominay and Fred. But Pogba was the class. He was the difference. He was the stardust, even though he's probably only 80% fit. Um, he scored a great goal. I think it was bad defending, I think, from Mate, who took an age to try and clear his lines inside his own 18-yard box. But once Pogba got the ball, he, he sort of just waited and sat Kessie down and just stuck it in the top corner. And he's the difference. You know, he's the difference maker for them. When they are struggling, they're not really creative when they've got Fred and Scott McTonough. They've got two players that can dig in and put a real shift in. But when you get Pogba on the pitch and give him a little bit of licence to get forward, I think that was the difference between Milan and Man U tonight. Uh, Robbo, as someone who covers a lot of Italian football and is a big fan of the league, how much of a concern is it that yet another team is kicked out of Europe? I think I'm right in saying it's only Roma now who's left. Yeah, I mean, uh, Serie A has been a good league this season. It's been competitive. But the quality of some of the teams isn't that great, as you've seen in, in European competitions. And that's why I was talking about AC Milan. AC Milan have overachieved this season. They're in second place. They're starting to come down. They're probably, I would say, the fourth or fifth best team in, in Italy. And there's a lot of teams like that in Italy at the moment that aren't particularly great. Inter Milan are top of the table. But they were knocked out of, uh, of the Champions League. They came fourth in their group. Mm. So we're talking about a, 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 a league where it's competitive, but at the moment there's no outstanding teams. So, Manchester United go through. Who will be joining them? Or well, Arsenal, despite losing against Olympiacos. Uh, Rangers are out, uh, losing 2-0 at home. Lots of men sent off in that game as well. Ajax safely through, Villarreal through, Roma through, and Granada all through to the quarterfinals. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.